Hi girls, I am Priyanka and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to review this foundation from Maybelline. It's Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation and I recently purchased this foundation for my personal use. I did not bought this foundation for the purpose of review and all. This is something which I purchased for myself and so after using this foundation for long time, I thought to share my experience and my honest review on this product. I also pre-recorded this video along with all those see and all. So previously I was using this liquid foundation. Again this one is from Maybelline. This is Maybelline Dream Satin Skin Foundation and as you can see here I have used uh, the full bottle of it. And uh, I thought to switch from liquid foundation to something cream based. I also use this Maybelline Fit Me foundation again from Maybelline. And you, as you can see here, this is the darkest shade. And as you, I used to mix both of the shades together, and then I try to match it with my skin tone. And like that, I use my foundation. This is really hard to find the foundation shade which is actually matching with your Indian, with your skin tone. So that's what I mix both of them. So now I'm gonna be reviewing this Maybelline Dream Velvet Skin Foundation, which is matte finish and also it says that it is hydrating for dry skin tone. So I'm in the shade 75, and uh, yes, you can see the packaging of the product and all the details like expiry date and quantity and price is uh, listed over here. So it is for rupees 700 for 30 gram of product, and this foundation comes in six different shades. And I think only one shade is for the darker skin tone that is caramel shade and uh, I think uh, deciding your actual shade among only six uh, shades is really tough but still I found something which was uh, matching with my skin tone I not completely but somewhat so yes you can see the packaging of this product is really classy matte finish tube packaging and I think this is travel friendly because it is tube so I think if you drop the product it won't break and yeah that's what it is travel friendly. So you can purchase this product online. I think on Amazon you will uh, purchase it. You can purchase it for rupees 516 discount. Again all the six shades are available on Amazon but when it comes to Flipkart only two shades are available there and that too for 700 rupees. So my personal uh, suggestion is that girls just go to the Maybelline counter, test your shades and note down your shade and then you can purchase it online later on in discount price. So I purchased this foundation from a Maybelline store and it tested all shades and after that I found this shade which was uh, somewhat matching to my skin tone. So I'm going to quickly unwrap the product as you can see here on the nozzle there is something wrapped. So you can see it got a really tiny nozzle which makes this uh, which I like because I think it will give you better control while you take out the product and you can see uh, less quantity of the product comes out with a tiny nozzle and I'm going to quickly show you the coverage and all about this product so you can see the texture of this uh, foundation is not towards the liquid side or not towards the creamy side it is something in between and yes it is really velvety finish like it, it feels really smooth while I'm blending it really velvety and yeah this really soft and lightweight as you can see here I'm just blending on the back of my hand and as you can see here it is not able to hide all of the green when showing on my hand but it has good low to medium coverage you can see something in between low to medium coverage and this is something like a first impression that I pre-recorded for you guys I use this foundation for about more than 10 days on my daily basis so now I'm gonna apply this foundation on my face so on half of my face I'm gonna be applying this foundation with the help of my fingers and on the other half of my face I will use foundation brush because we Indian girls like these two way uh, to apply foundation mostly and I mostly prefer my fingers uh, on daily basis whenever I'm hurry and sometimes I use foundation brush or beauty blender. So you can see here the blending part of this foundation is not that much impressive because it takes a bit time to blend your foundation but that is okay that is totally acceptable because it's matte uh, product and matte finish foundation so maybe this can be due to that also this is not a liquid foundation 
So yes, the coverage of this foundation is something between low to medium or you can tell it it is something medium coverage. I don't have like lots of dark spots or something on my face. So again, this is good for my for my skin, but I'm not sure about yours. Maybe it won't be able to cover all your dark spots or blemishes or something. So I'm gonna apply this foundation with the help of foundation brush on the other side of my face so that we can judge the actual coverage of this foundation. So you can see with the help of brush once I apply the foundation the coverage is quite good especially under my eye area as you can see. You can clearly see the difference between both the side of my face. I think brush give you nice good medium coverage from this foundation. Also it has really nice velvety matte finish and the foundation. Uh, it's not like extremely lightweight on the skin it feels like you have something on your skin also one thing i noticed girls that this foundation feels a little bit sticky i don't know why but it's somehow due to that or it's it has hydrating formula maybe because of that but yes it feels a little bit sticky now i'm gonna set my full face with this compact and i'm using my next compact because anyway after applying any cream base or gel based product we have to set our face with compact so that it won't move from its place or melt or crease so it is very important to set your cream based product or foundation with some compact so this is how my face looks it gives a nice a medium coverage and also it is has really good a matte finish uh, here and uh, and that's what i like about this foundation and uh, so now overall my opinion on this foundation is that if you are someone with dry skin and if you are looking for matte finish foundation that is not dry that is hydrating then you can definitely go for this foundation but again this will not give you high coverage this will give you medium to low coverage and again if you want to build up the coverage then you won't be able to do that because I tried it looks really cakey on my face. I think it will work good if you try a good primer and beauty blenders and all. So yes, this is my opinion on it. And if you are someone with oily skin, then girls, I will not recommend this foundation for you. Please don't go for it. And when it comes to me, then I will uh, I will not buy this foundation again because I will love to invest in a good BB cream or CC cream which does have a good coverage and also matte finish. So I will not invest 700 rupees for something like this and yeah this is all about the review video, video and uh, review of this foundation and this is something which is my personal and honest review and the experience I'm sharing with you girls and yeah I hope you all enjoy watching this video and find it helpful if yes then Please like this video and girls don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay updated with all of the upcoming videos like this. You can also follow me on all of my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. I will link all of my social medias in the description box for you guys so that you can follow me there and we can stay connected and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then take care. Bye.